National Youth Orchestra will host a concert in Pretoria supported by the Embassy of Switzerland and Pro Helvetia. This as uh, Sir James Galway and the Zurich Chamber Orchestra tour South Africa and it goes to UNISA ZK and Matthew's Great Hall tonight as part of the UNISA Music Foundation concert series. This is the second leg of the tour by the way and to tell us more about what's going to go down and with our visiting musicians we are, we are now joined by the managing director of the SA National Youth Orchestra uh, Sophia Veltz. Sophia, good uh, morning and welcome. Good morning, thanks for having me. Okay, so let's talk about how momentous and historic this tour is and this visit is. Well, it's wonderful because the National Youth Orchestra is hosting this incredible chamber orchestra, so they're some of the top musicians in the world. And then we've got one of the top selling best classical artists ever in all time, Sir James Galway, who's brought his lovely wife, Lady Galway, with him. Um, and yes, I think it's wonderful for our young musicians because they get to play with these people. And I mean, mm. it's like playing with superstars. It's, it's great. So we're, we have the best classical selling artist of all time coming to South Africa. How has this relationship come about and how we managed to get him? Well, you know, musicians have networks, so I think it's, it's that way. And I think that we talk to each other and I think that musicians, especially when they spend a bit of time playing, always want to give give back to a younger generation. There's a great deal of that. There's a great deal of handing on knowledge and, mm. and care. And so, yeah, that's one of the ways. Let's talk about tonight's performance. So we're at the ZK Matthews Hall at Tunisia, which is, um, which is wonderful. And we're going to be performing such a beautiful program. There are only a few tickets left, so um, I'm very excited because it's going to be a full hall. We just came out of um, a performance at the Johannesburg International Mozart Festival last night, and it was fantastic. People were on their feet. It was packed. It was great. Right. It's the second leg. What was the response uh, like for the first one? Well, yesterday it was just it was just clapping and clapping and clapping and clapping. They did three encores. It was it was great. It was just fantastic. When we started this conversation, we talked about young musicians uh, being able or having the ability to perform with world class artists. But surely there must be a knock-on effect as well. It's not only about the young musicians. What are some of the other benefits of having Sir, people like Sir James Galway coming to South Africa? Well, I think it really brings a whole new spotlight on what we're doing and, and what we're doing with music education. There are so many dedicated music teachers in South Africa um, that teach all around in programs all over the country. And so um, the Galways are going to be visiting those programs on their tour as well. It brings that kind of exposure. And I think for the Zurich Chamber Orchestra and our visiting um, guest artists, I think for them the experience of this country stays with them. Um, they were with us in 2013, the Zurich Chamber Orchestra, and they've come back because they loved it so much. So I think we also share something of our vibe. And I think that's a great thing for South Africa. I think it really gives us, you know, we, our young musicians are real ambassadors. Um, you know, we, we, we play together all different races, all different ages. So there are old people in this orchestra now and young people and from every background. And it's just so great. We Let's talk about the demographic very quickly because I remember uh, oh, we've hosted this conversation on uh, more than one occasion on Morning Live talking about uh, you know classical music um, struggling to survive. When you have big name artists like, like this coming to South Africa, you've got nearly all your tickets sold. What does that say about classical music? Well, I think that young people in this country are doing a lot more classical music and I think we have many more orchestras than people think and I think that young people really love classical music. So... I, you know, I think it is also something about education. It's about saying this is perhaps a perception. Perhaps people don't understand everything about it. Yes, it is difficult to have a permanent orchestra and make it work. It takes, it's not only the money that's difficult, it's making the whole process work. It's very difficult to put an orchestra together and keep it going. But I think that there's such passion. The National Youth Orchestra is 50 years old now, and we've had support from Sassel for 35 years, wow. which I think is incredible. I that's think it's incredible. one of the longest running sponsorships in the country uh, on, for the arts. And, and so there are people that are dedicated. It doesn't mean it's easy. I mean, the National Youth Orchestra is always looking for money. We, every, everybody that's, that's in it tries to do that. But I think that the passion and the drive for it will keep it alive longer than any money would. In 30 seconds, what can we expect this year? From the, from the youth orchestra. Ooh, we're doing so many exciting things. Um, we're doing our normal orchestra course, which happens in June, Sassel course. And um, I hope we're going to be touring, but that's a surprise. Uh, so that means everybody from all over the country comes together, makes a big orchestra, 
we have an amazing time and we learn so much and we'll do small courses during the year as well but we'll be doing concerts in Joburg mainly this year okay we're going to leave it there. Sophia Val is talking to us. She's the managing director of the SA National Youth Orchestra. And she's also uh, talking about the very special concert that will be happening at the ZK uh, Matthews Hall at UNISA in Pretoria tonight. The gig will see performances by Sir James Galway and the Zurich Chamber Orchestra. Not forgetting the SA National Youth Orchestra who performed earlier on the show and will give us more music again later. So do stay tuned. Let us know what you think, Morning Live.